Hey there, this is Marissa with Marissa Moments. So um, the word that I have to share with you today is about your history, right? So what I received is that a lot of us have been negating our history, right? Pretending it doesn't even exist. We don't want any parts of it, right? Tu, 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 no longer there, right? Afuera, afuera, right? And that's because we associate our generational trauma, our toxicity, our programming, all those things to the past. Now, not to say that that's not true, right? However, what I receive is that you have to understand and you have to embrace your history in order not to repeat it, right? The more that we run from something just as lessons such as life, the more we enhance our propensity to rep repetition, right? The more that we t refuse to acknowledge a thing, the more that we pretend it's not there saying the same thing two different ways, the more likely we are to see it repeated in various different ways, shapes, and forms, right? So what we have to do is learn from our history, embrace it, that doesn't mean that we have to carry it along with us, right? Maybe we share the stories and things like that in order for people to understand where we come from. However, we don't have to live it out. To share a story is not to relive it, right? Every time you tell a story to a friend, you're not acting it out every single time. And maybe you are. Sometimes we're a little bit dramatic and it makes it a little bit more impactful or funny or something like that, right? It's like watching a movie or going to see a play. However, we're not allowing that moment to become our current existence. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? The bottom line to this bottom line is stop running from your history. Stop negating your past. The, there is no shame in anything that you have experienced in your life because the thing of it is, is that experience, that pain has purpose right? And when we refuse to acknowledge it, we negate our purpose. <laughs> the, the abuse that you experienced, and I don't mean to laugh prior to saying this because this is very serious, the abuse that you experienced, the trauma that you experienced, the toxicity that you had been surrounded by, the, the pool of sharks that you consistently swam in is worth a mention. If for nothing else, to explain to someone else how they can avoid that, that same situation or to explain to them that it is possible to overcome. It is possible to triumph over the things that were sent to harm, harm you, the things that were sent to keep you stuck, right? We can move beyond, but we have to understand where we come from in order to keep going forward. That's it.